Yo, what up, homie? This is SBK here, bringing you a replay from RTS number one, a new tournament from China. And this time, we're gonna see a Night Elf versus Undead. This is a passive round of eight between uh, Sweet Backing and uh, Without You. That, that was that his name is the Ping's name. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't show up on my. Uh, it doesn't show up on my. Uh, American, I mean English version of Warcraft, so it's uh, I really can't see anybody. But anyway, uh, Nato versus Undead on this map. What is the map? Oh, God damn it! What's the name of the map? Someone tell me! Someone tell me! Plunder Isles! Plunder Isles! That's it. <laughs> God damn! All right, Undead versus Night Elf. We're gonna see probably gargoyles and into um mass gargoyles into abominations, frost worms, and destroyers. Because you harass the crap out of the Night Elf with gargoyles. As Night Elf, you might want to start uh, to preemptively build your towers just to expect the gargoyles coming up. You're gonna see the Demon Hunter. Yet, yeah, as, as soon as Night Elf picks Demon Hunter, you gotta go gargoyles. If Night Elf picks the Warden or Panda first, you can go safely go. Uh, because you can nuke the crap out of that hero. Anyway, Demon Hunter is going to be Hero of Choice, DKA is going to be Hero of Choice, we're going to see probably the Aura first, and just to bring a lot of ghouls to, to challenge your opponent's um, micromanagement and double uh, multitasking, and then after you get a tier 2, you get a, two, another crit down, get two mass gargoyles in the air, and just harass a crap out of the Lumber Wispies. I see that shop is going to be done, and we're going to see DK come out in a second. Oh, the shop is, huh, interesting, the shop is early. Anyway, here comes the Wisp, A is going to see that there's no Graveguard around, so he knows this is going to be a Ghouls and Gargoyle build. Yeah, the Ghoul, this is, he stops at four Ghouls, this is, I'm, I really don't know what this is. Uh, I've seen Banshee build, but not recently, uh, versus versus Night Elf. There's a Ghouls that are going to continue to be built. Summoning is complete. DK is going to head over with a... A skeleton staff, and it looks like a demon hunter is gonna go head straight over. See the DK? DK is gonna see the demon hunter as well, so he's gonna pick he's Aura, gonna see the first hero, and then pick the his ability. We're gonna see the Night Elf start finish creeping the screen camp, and wondering the archer is gonna do some blocking or what. Demon hunter grab the uh, ring protection plus two from the green camp. We're gonna see tier two should be up. Uh, notice the undead money. We're gonna see 320, 320 now. Tier two now. That, uh, that, there we go. <laughs> and ghouls are going to be brought over just to do some harassment. Wisp is going to be right on top of this. And here's ghoul. Don't get your demon hunter surrounded. No, no. Ah, <laughs> God. <laughs> That's pretty pathetic. Oh, <laughs> That's funny. Uh, maybe he wasn't paying attention, but that was the easiest surround I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, it wasn't even an attempt to get out of it. It was like, oh crap, I'm surrounded. TP! So now the Demon Hunter is going to have to buy staff for teleportation from the, from the shop, but he's going to be denied to the shop because the gun dead is right next door just to surround him once he buys the staff for teleportation or any boost of uh, speed. And 375 gold down the drain from the Night Elf just uh, being careless with Demon Hunter. Not a big deal. Where is his Hunter's Hall? Uh oh. This is gonna be a quick. This is gonna be quick if oh, he doesn't have a hunter's hall. Anyway, we're gonna see the D, uh, DK is gonna grab a couple skeletons one out of the out of the, these one of these courses. I think they're uh, they're uh, what do you call um disappeared or receded into the dirt, oh, whatever you call that thing. Anyway, Demon Hunter, you do not want to solo DK with six ghouls around him. And we're gonna see the archer is gonna get chased out by a ghoul. Archer, more archers are on the way. And uh demon hunter, <laughs> you cannot afford it. You cannot. You don't have any shops anymore. Oh, if the undead knows about this, he can come over and cancel this, and you can never see lore tech ever again. You can forget about forget about getting lords or any huntresses. You're gonna be stuck with archers to deal with these ghouls. Maybe DOS to deal with these ghouls, and we're gonna see a second crypt should be down, no, no second crypt, the graveyard is on the way though, so this might be a destroyer fiend build, yeah, so a lot of ghouls to do that, ah, demon hunter is around it, but there's three more us around him, four, if you count this one, uh, to heal him, so that's not a, it's not gonna be a big deal, let's see how many ghouls on that loses, just for draining the more mana, there's a second ghoul is gonna go down, you're gonna see skeletons are gonna come over and use your wisps. Use your wisps, dude. 
<laughs> archers are gonna be dusted, I think. There we go. And but the archers are gonna be healed. The woods need to come over and detonate all these skeletons. There we go. Nicely done. Demon Hunter should be a uh, really uh, pretty uh, far ahead in the level. But it looks like DK is gonna get a some kind of a redemption from killing archers. And the ghouls are gonna be had to Michael away. We're gonna keep an eye on this ghoul. Meanwhile, we're gonna see the archers gonna <laughs> aren't gonna have any good time either. He's just uh, getting whacked by ghoul left and right. I think that ghoul was killed by Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is faster than ghoul. And see, using those woods to detonating the skeletons also drains the uh, lumber income down. But now the Lord Hunter Saw is up, and we're gonna probably see <laughs> so many archer kills. It's DK to level 3, too. And DK throws the coil right to the ghoul just to come and serve some. That's bad for the Demon Hunter, by the way. Uh, uh, if you. What the hell? Blood? What? Blood? Wrath? What? Um. <laughs> That, that's also bad for Demon Hunter if you use mana t for mana burn or emulation because the moon wells are going to charge your mana first before charge your aura. Uh, it, it's it's a ratio uh, it charges mana less efficiently than than um, less efficiently than HP. So you do not want to use your mana when you're gaining push. And Demon Hunter is the only line of defense. It looks like he he's gonna go for the oh destroyer build. No, maybe he. He has a fast tier 3 going, maybe he's going to get a, a Frenzy Ghouls and Destroyers? I don't know what this is. Let's see what he picked for a second hero. If he's going to be a Naga, we're going to see a fast Ghouls and Destroyers. If he's going to be a Lich, we're going to see probably some Fiends in the mix. And that is going to rotate out some Ghouls, and he's going to creep, or he's going to... Is he going to creep? No, 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 he's going straight to the Nadolf camp. Nadolf got a Panda out, so that's going to probably be... They, uh, that's gonna be trouble for the undead, but as long as, as, long as the pen is less than level 3, he should not be that much, it's not, it's not that big a deal, here comes undead, and there it is a Naga Sea, which is all we're gonna see ghouls and uh, destroyers, no fiends, no abominations, Naga Sea, which gets a pushy speed drop from the DK, and DK is gonna finish off this camp, although, one ghoul, ah, uh, coil, okay, <laughs> Okay, undeaded player try to be a cheap with the coil. Oh he's going to uh, use it to get that low HP ghoul back there. Meanwhile, we're going to see lords are going to go down. What? Two lords, drives are going to come up. Oh, oh, he's on the way for both players. We're going to see the DK is kind of low, but still. Let's see if he uses the mana right away. Just to throw mana on, on an archer or on a panda or something. Nope, nope. We're going to see the DK is backing off. This wisp is going to be scouting everything. Watch this. Watch the vision of this wisp. Look at this. Just a very nice tree to hop on. Look at that. And and that is going to creep this green orange camp here. And the skeletons will be forgotten in the back and finally killed. In the meantime, Undead is going to finish this camp off. Getting replenished potions. Not one of them used for against the panda. We're going to see the potion healing on the DK, just in case he does not want to use the TP, but still want to heal the DK. Who's the speed on the Naga Sea Witch, just, just, just so he can get away, she can get away with, uh, get away from the drives. But the drives, there's only two drives on the field. We're going to see the panda's going to get slowed by the cold arrow as a coil on the archer to kill that archer off. And we're going to see the and then it's going to back Research off. Finished. Tier 3 is up, Lich is going to be on the way, so you're going to see Destroyer's Ghoul build. Yep, Frenzy's on the way. It's a very, uh... Not a standard, but uh, effective strategy versus undead. You can nuke the crap out of the bears, and in the, in the, at the same time, the bears do not have splash damage, Our which means they are not going to have. The they are not going to deal with uh, ghouls and frenzy very effectively because low HP ghouls can just back off out of the battle, assuming the pandas do not do a lot of the fresh fire. Both players are going to staging outside the shop just to see who can creep the better. Yeah, coil! <laughs> There's a fork landing to get that creep, creep jack. One of the few times you see a timing hero do a, a creep jack. We're gonna see the uh that ogre not no ah. <laughs> no it wasn't. Um, but the DK did use the uh, one of mana stealing, but here comes the bears with the um, with rejuvenation. So the Dandadin is gonna have to wait for the uh, destroyer upgrade to uh, to finish, or is it already finished? Research finished. And that is gonna do some shopping, probably buy an orb for the Lich and um, another potion of healing on the, the DK. 
uh, not even has to get a level three depending on your uh, panda. He's not even close to level three. He's he's gonna hit level two point three after this camp here, but he's gonna have to think about creeping some of these. Uh, just creep as fast as he can because he is gonna face a lot of ghouls in his, at his front door. Without level three, without a level three panda, this is really hard to deal with. Uh, and we're gonna see panda. Panda does not have the staff of preservation. Panda burn. There we go. This is what I was talking about. <laughs> see what happens. Oh god, the bear is gonna be staffed. Second bear is gonna be surrounded. And I don't think there's anything else that Nano can do here. Ooh, it's fine, but there's another Nova on the bear. One bear is gonna go down. Yep. And she needed level three panda to deal with this, but he does not. We're gonna see that ghouls are going to are going to just uh, so get away, get in the way of the bears really. With their frenzy and their unholy aura, they are so freaking fast. Also, the Legend Nova Coil, not uh, Legend Nova Coil, uh, Nova yeah, Lightning yeah. Coil is pretty effective versus a single bear. So you have to stop that bear, and then what are you going to do for the rest of the army? You're going to have to back off. There's a level 3 DK finally, and we're going to see Coil is going to be used right away, I suspect. Destroyer should be on the way now. We're gonna see the destroyer upgrades better be on the Our way. There's a bone yard is on the way as well. Nova coil, fork lightning, demoner. <laughs> it's gonna be stopped by the and about the last second, 30 HP remaining. And we're gonna see that undead has full map control. It's gonna kill bear first. Is he gonna go after each of the war? Is he gonna finish the creep off? Oh my god, the bears are so expensive. 285 gold per. And we're gonna see all the what? <laughs> the down here. Is he gonna try to use a creep to, yeah, to drive the undead away? There's a uh, first destroyer is being um, upgraded. Scroll of healing needs to be used right now. Your ghouls are gonna die. They're away, away. What is that? Yeah, your ghouls are going to die. A shredder has been brought over there. The scroll of healing gets used. All the ghouls are gonna be healed. Can't have the wine trouble. And no more, <laughs> yeah, destroyers in the air, so no more rejuvenation or roar, please. We're gonna see the. Uh, yeah, the Panda is going to get focused. Nova and the Panda is going to go down. No, Panda is going to be stabbed away at the last minute again, but still, not only fighting, losing battle. Destroyer is getting focused by all the Night Elf units, by the way, the D Hunter and the three Dryads, but still not enough. It does level 3 DK around him, but it finally kills the Destroyer. And that bear is going to be firm, permanently slowed. Panda is going to stab him away. And there's another bear in the back. <laughs> Poor bear, there we go, it hits a little level 2, and Naga is always level 3, um, DK is 3.3, 3. pretty good win for the Dundead, he can just scream out ghouls, fiends, and uh, destroyers, he, not enough at 48, food 5, pretty uh, even, until, um, well, until one of them decides to get upgrades, no upgrades on the dragons and bears, and I don't think there's any upgrades on the fiends either. Nope, no fiends upgrade. I don't think any ghouls upgrade either. But here comes a frostworm. That can be this game changer. Frostworms are freaking so hard to kill, especially if there's a level three decay around. And if I were if I were undead, I would get a potion of mana on my DK just to keep the frostworm alive a little longer. Versus a level three DK. Uh, uh, Demon Hunter. We're gonna, it looks like the uh, undead is gonna try to creep this camp at it. This, there's a wizard right here. He's gonna see everything. So if the undead is gonna cap, sorry, not only is gonna creep the red camp here. He, finally, he's gonna get level three panda. And he is gonna get a item, a Captain American helmet. Yay! Steve Rogers, let's go. What's going on here? Okay. I think Naga has to be level three by now. Yep. Lich is level 2.5, we're gonna see that Panda is gonna have a freaking level 3 Captain American helmet. Really nice item on the strength hero. And, um, pff, uh, break 50 or what? Undead is at 50. Not almost at 49 and expanding. Undead can potentially up expand up here because, uh, uh, while well, Undead has a better mobility with the Unholy Aura, and the bears are kind of slow in a way. Uh, for Nine Elf Army and the Panda as well. What did the okay DK picked up golf taste and gave to the Lich? Aw, how cute! Aw, they gave a glove to his girlfriend. Aw, and we're gonna see the top of color because he's crept next. And Nine Elf is ready for ready, ready to go. Look at this! Look at this! Five dryads, three bears, and two heroes. Forty-nine food with the expansion on the way. He's gonna have to put on from some pressure. Oh, he's gonna creep this green camp or oh, red camp here. So both red camps are going to be crept by the Nidal, that's interesting. 
that can prove it uh, very interesting later on. We can see the Demon Hunter is going to try to block this uh, Overlord Lord from getting out, and one more mana burn is going to get him. No, never mind, he's not going to use it. Crystal Ball is going to be dropped, so we're going to see the Shades. Where are the Shades? Where are the Shades? I swear to God, Undead has a Shade somewhere. I just don't see it. I, I, he doesn't Someone have one. Uh, yep, <laughs> he has a Sakura Pit for nothing. He doesn't have a Shade. I, I could swear I that had a shade, but I think the reason he didn't have one because he is at uh, 50 food. Now he's at 66 food. He's, you can make an acolyte right here to get get one. But he's gonna get a second frost worm, and we're gonna see it's abomination is finally on the way. Maybe disease cloud already upgraded. I'm sorry, I didn't know if it if it has. And we're gonna see the night elf is gonna see the undead army coming in. Night elf has to break 50 now because he. He's gonna face a yeah 58 food right now. He's gonna have to face, face against a 68 food. And that is gonna is gonna try to creep this camp here. Also getting some mana on the destroyers. I like that. You see how that creep was uh, plot lusted. He got uh, he used the abolish magic from uh, from the destroyers to get the plot lost out of there. See and and the, and the uh, unit fire out of there. See and just get you some more mana on your destroyers so for the next incoming. Battle. See, it's another pair of uh, another pair of uh, magic. Uh, uh, what do you call those? Uh, uh, Unifier and Bloodlaws are going to be sucked by the <laughs> destroyers. So they're going to be more, more, any more mana to the destroyer. Dries in the front line. Never want to do that. Uh, and it looks like the Dries are going to try to focus on the Frostorm. Uh, the uh, Dragon. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> Frostworm, yeah, Nova Coil on the Demon Hunter, Demon Hunter Chuck the Potion Keening, it looks like this Panda's turn, first Abomination gets killed, but Abomination is such a better, such a good tank in, the, in that army. DK is gonna Chuck the Potion Keening, killing another bear, Cl four Clanning is gonna kill the, almost kill the Panda, and we're gonna see that another bear is gonna go down, and the entire Undead Air army is gonna be preserved, and that's gonna be game. And there's a Nova Coil. Oh, the Coil didn't hit the Demon Hunter. It was staffed away, but it looks like the Panda is going to be next. The Demon Hunter did have, doesn't have a staff interpretation as well, but it looks like DK is in trouble. We're going to select the DK and just uh, see what happens here. Fiends are going to focus. I think Fiends are shifting to, to the Dryads. It looks like one bear is going to be focused down real, real fast. I'm not okay. having enough mana for, uh, for a Coil, but it looks like the Fiends are doing a pretty good job holding this off. Just against dry eyes and looks like the frost rope. Oh, Breath of Fire killed two fiends right away. And looks like the DK is gonna he's gonna TP out or he's gonna back off. He is gonna back off. Night Elf has the expansion going. So this might be proven critical if Undead does does not suspect expansions. Um, or Undead can just gear up, crank up the more. Yep, he is gonna put reproduce some some sort of fiends. And the third frostworm he made this game. Um one of them is killed. He's gonna swing around. I'm pretty sure he's suspecting expansion somewhere in the map, maybe here or here. And looks like Night Elf's gonna be right on the under under player's teal. No, Burrow, Burrow. <laughs> oh God. Meanwhile, it looks like the undead is gonna shut down this gold mine, losing the fiend in the process. And looks like the DK, uh, the DK, uh, Demon Hunter is gonna try to come in and. Uh, and uh, TP in. Yeah, I think he purchased the potion of vulnerability. Well, what was he, he buying TP or what? He's gonna let that expansion. Big, go. big oh, mistake. Man. He could have defended that expansion if he just bought a TP. Oh, but looks like he's gonna uh, sacrifice the expansion and just uh, and the, uh, the undead can just TP away uh, once he wants to take down the expansion. We're gonna see here the engagement. Uh, there's a potion of vulnerability, pot lesser vulnerability used right away by the by the demon hunter. One bear goes down right away. Second bear goes down. <laughs> That's fast. And we're gonna see the frost one gets focused down, but here's a second one coming in, coming in. So the dries really has their words cut off of them because the frost worms are gonna. Oh god, the frost worms are going to just continue streaming here. And the, without the demon hunter around, the uh, Nova and Coil is gonna be so much more potent. It looks like the Lich is gonna yeah pop the potion out around body. And another bear is gonna go down. Jesus! And Frostworm finally gets taken down, but Dryad versus Fiends is never a good thing, especially when there's a range hero around. And the Demon Hunter needs to hurt Giddy up. Oh no, he, 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 there's no way he can get over here. Yep, yep. And all that undead, undead player needs to do is to continue streaming Fiends, and this game should be his. There is a Fiend, and he can just bring these ghouls over just to finish off the game if he wanted to. Kill the expansion. 
Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Yep. Looks like Dryad is going to get killed. UK is level 5. Let's see if he uses Coil right away on the Lich. Coil the Lich! Coil the Lich! Don't get mana burned! <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What, what are you doing, dude? Coil the... Is he going to Coil the Hunter? No. What? Okay. Abomination is just so good versus Dryad. Because it's so beefy. It takes like 20 shots from the Dryad to kill one. Uh, and what is this DK doing here? Is he going to Coil the Abomination? There we go. And looks like the Dryads are going to be the last line of defense. Yeah, the, uh, not else to continue to make Dryads and nothing else. And the Dryads just don't stand up against the range heroes. Especially just being around. And looks like Lich is going to be focused down. And Lich is going to be focused down even more. Uh, more Dryads are going to be taken down. We're going to see the more. <laughs> and the Fiend is still holding his own against Dryad for not else. Uh, the Panda needs to come out as soon as fast as, as soon as possible. Maybe Undead wants to deny that, or is he going to go after the Dryads? And deny the Panda, or go after the Dryads? I have no idea. Looks like the Demon Hunter is going to be Nova Coiled, and... Uh, oh, just Coil, no, no, uh, I'm sorry, just Nova, no Coil. Still try to do some damage with that over Venom, it's really not going to happen. Pop the Potion of Healing, kills one Fiend. The Dryads needs to be checked in the back, by the way. The Undead needs to, yeah, go after the Dryads, they're so freaking annoying. Does he have Burrow? Does he have Fiend Burrow, dude? Are you gonna... Are you gonna Burrow the Fiend or what? Uh, I, I have no idea, but looks like the Undead is gonna be fighting... Oh, level 5, 5, 4 Undead Heroes. That's a bit... Oh, God. DK has the TP. I think he must have... He has the TP now. Looks like the Ghouls are finally being brought over and that can be gained. For goals or frenzy is so good, especially versus the heroes as already explode by the code. Download level four demon hunter, and there's GG from the night elf. Hope you guys